You might be wondering what this is, and uh, this is this is my Pilates ball. Now, why do I have a Pilates ball? Well, I have a Pilates ball because during this quarantine, I've been sitting so much on my ass, which caused me to have a trapped nerve in my ass, which then radiated down my leg and caused me pain. So, hence, I am here bouncing and working and filming my YouTube video on this trustworthy or not so trustworthy ball. If you guys want a little bit of a thrill and uh, a bit of risk when you're sitting by your desk. But yes, that is not the aim of this video. The aim of this video is for me to show you the top five best JavaScript tricks that I came across in my software engineering career. Uh, and I'm going to share them with you guys and hopefully speed up your workflow by a considerable amount. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so trick number one is fairly simple. It's filtering unique values from an array. So what we can do is we can just set a new array called array and give it some values. Uh, let's say I'm going to give it the value of boy and then I'm going to give it the value of boy again. And then I'm going to give it some number and then I'm going to give it two numbers as well. And I'm going to give it a Boolean. Uh, let's just call it true. Now, let's say I want to extract all the values which are unique from this array. Uh, so what we can do is just say const filtered array and we can make it equal to whatever is remaining in a new set of array. And then if we just console log this filtered array, what we're going to be left with, if I just open the terminal and I run a node tricks is boy 10374756422 two and true. So it removed the duplicates of boy and it also removed the duplicates of two. And this would work for anything uh, apart from uh, objects or arrays that you would be putting inside the new array. On to trick number two. So this one is a trick I use all the time when I'm coding in JavaScript. And it basically is like an if else statement, but it allows you to keep it very short and in one line. So this trick is called short circuit evaluation. Okay, so I have a constant number, which is equal to five. So let's assume that the number is less than five. And if the number is less than five, then I just want to console log hello. And if it's less than five, then we can console log by with a sad face. So if I run this here, well, we can see that the number is equal to five. So we'll just print by very sad, but uh, let's make it happy. And I will probably should add a happy face to it. Uh, and now the number is two. So obviously if we run it again, it's going to say hello. If the condition is met, it's going to output the side of the evaluation that's true. Otherwise false. So trick number three is converting floats to integers. And this one is super simple and it works differently with positive and negative floats. So I'll show you both scenarios. So let's just console log a number called 24.6. Now, if we console log this, obviously we will get what we get. But let's say that we want to convert this float into an integer and round it down. Well, you can just do a vertical line dot zero and literally that's what it does. It just converts the number uh, to a whole number. Now, if I create a negative, this is what happens. Well, it, it just rounds it up now because it's a negative, right? So depending on the operator, if it's a positive number, it will round down, or if it's a negative, it's going to round the number up. So basically to put it in simple terms, whatever float that you provide, it will just remove anything after a decimal place and leave you with that number. So it could be very useful in some scenarios if you think about it. Now trick number four is finding the last value of an array. Now I used to iterate over the array for years and uh, try and find that last number and count and do all these sort of complicated things where actually in JavaScript, it's just all at your fingertips. So all you have to do is, uh, well, firstly, let's declare an array. Let's say constant array again, and let's give it an array of integers like this. 
Now, let's say I want to get the last integer. Well, let me just console log uh, array. And all I need to do is I can just slice the array and pass in negative one. And when you do that, it's just going to print the last value of the array for you. Now, if you want the last two digits of the array, all you have to do is just do slice to the negative two, to the number negative two, and there you go. Same with minus three, minus four, and minus five, and so on. Okay, so the last trick and trick number five is conditionally setting a variable. Now, let's assume a scenario that we have someone registering for a name and they can have nicknames and they might prefer a nickname over their name and they might not provide their name, but they might provide their nickname. So what we can say is that we can have a constant uh, user and their name is given to us. Let's just say Philip. Philip is their name, right? But we can also have a nickname that they gave us, which is called uh, George or Jerge. Uh, let's stick with that. Sounds bougie. I'm going to assign the login details. So login name. And we can say, well, if the user has provided Philip, then we want to use Philip. Otherwise, if the user hasn't provided Philip, we can just use nickname. So if we just uh, console log uh, login name, what we will get back is Philip. Now let's assume that the user doesn't have a preferred name. So what we can just say is, well, there is no Philip anymore and the user is no. So what will I be using? Well, Jerge is going to be our option because now we're kind of using this conditional saying, well, if there is no user, then give us the nickname. Okay guys, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these five JavaScript tricks that will hopefully aid and uh, speed up your workflow and make your code neater. Now, if you did enjoy it, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see future videos like this. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.